This is a hybrid brush shelter, and the reason I say hybrid is it's kind of a mix between your traditional brush shelter and an A-frame. So there are easier ways to make an A-frame. If you had two trees, you could run a ridge pole, build your A-frame this way. But if you don't have that, this is a method that would work for you. So I built a platform. Once I got that platform high enough so that I could sit underneath it, because I want to be able to sit upright in case it's raining, I don't want to always have to be laying down, then I put the A-frame over it. Now, if you build this sturdy enough, you can sleep up inside the A-frame. You could leave that open. But I like to fill it full of brush, as thick as I can. So I've got about two or three foot of brush over my head, just to start with. And then you take your other brush on the outside of the A-frame and build that up, shingle it up so that it sheds water. So if any water gets through, it gets stopped by the two to three foot of brush over your head, not counting what you shingle on top of that. So it can make it waterproof. That's why I like this type of shelter has a lot of advantages. Now I've left it open so that airflow can go through, but you could cover it all the way around and just leave you a little door with brush depending on the environment so that you could fully enclose it. I put firewood on the side. Now I would have stacked this firewood all the way up on each side. Smaller stuff over here, a little bit larger stuff over here. That's reserve firewood. You don't use it. If it's not raining, you don't use it at all. That's only if you get two or three days of rain and you don't have a source of dry wood, that's your dry wood. But it has another advantage, is it creates another wind block. It creates some insulation for you. Now let's talk about the bed. I've got two big logs, so if I don't want to be on the ground, I can build a simple bed like this. Two logs, put some saplings across them. The more stable, the less bendy saplings go on the outside, kind of right up underneath your armpit. And the ones that bend a little bit more go near the center so that it kind of gives you a concave shape, kind of like a, um, a cot is what we're looking for. So that gets you up off the ground. You can put your hot rocks underneath that so that they radiate heat up off of that. There's enough room for two people here, so you could make this bed wide enough. Now, if it's during the day and you're not laying, wanting to lay down, you want to sit up, you can just bring these slats in and out as you see fit. Or maybe they're not comfortable, you want to go cut another one. Just pull this one out, slide another one in, it's easy. Now for your fire, you wouldn't want to build a very big fire inside, probably not one at all, especially as this stuff dries. So you'd, you'd want to have your fire right here. You could dig a Dakota fire pit, which I'll make a video on in the future, or you could just simply run slats off of your A-frame. That'll serve as a wind block. It'll reflect heat back into your structure. So this is a modified hybrid A-frame, kind of a blend between an A-frame and a brush shelter.